and welcome back this is baller scuba with what this is actually my 25th sub subscriber special um i am the purple player here we are playing uh, star jeweled which is a very basic game uh it's a mod an official mod for starcraft 2 basically it's bejeweled and you get energy and with that energy you can do stuff you can either summon these units or you can do like I did right there and launch psionic storms which is my favorite thing to do in this game as well as the warp cell when somebody gets something real powerful I, I just put it in a warp cell and all of a sudden it isn't as powerful probably because it's not doing anything but the psi storm is awesome so apparently I'm good at this game I had no idea so I'll be uh, just pretty much talking to you guys while this goes on in the background I'll try to keep it in focus as much as I can. Um, this is yeah, this is my 25th subscriber special. I don't know how I got 25 subscribers. To be honest with you, I'm just kind of goofing off here, having fun, playing some video games, talking over them, and you guys seem to enjoy that for some odd reason. Um, I do actually watch a lot of LPRs myself, so I know the reason, but I like to pretend that I don't. Um, here's the, I do have the list of 25 uh, subscribers in front of me. Uh, these are really in no particular order, just how YouTube uh, listed them out when I asked, who are my subscribers again? Uh, so, looking here, um, this is just the order they gave me. I'm going to try to pronounce them, so if I don't pronounce it right, I apologize right now. Uh, we got uh, WTH just happened, uh, CJ Bagnall, uh, Valen Media, SB Galt, username Classified Fade, um, Ember Drake, WTF Punk 42, Logic 40, Il Prez, It's Jack, Castlemeyer, The Mooing Pig, That Fallout 3 Guy, who's completely lame by the way, BMW Dude 21, Red Pill Potential, Super Working, Sonaj, Bloon Bloon Zang, Dr. Deadwood, ZI007, Huron12, The Kingman Ultra, Wo96, Lukus13, and Rostyl27. That is 25 subscribers. I did lose two along the way. I don't really blame them. Really, the, the reason I lost them is because I stopped doing the StarCraft as much as I used to, and I don't really mind losing them for that. Um, I knew it was going to happen. Um, I mean, let's, let's look at this right now. Um, I have 4,800 energy, which is more than anybody else. These guys are not even close. Um, my favorite unit to get out of here are, um, I love the Hydralisks more than anything else. They fire fast, uh, they are ranged, and they can attack air, which is very important. You'll notice that they're going for roaches a lot. Roaches are good, but not good against hydras, I don't think. Well, no, it says they're weak against roach, uh, but I love getting them regardless because I can always summon out a Muta or a Banshee or something like that, and uh, all of a sudden I'm back in the game taking out their roaches. But no, I love the Psy Storms. The Psy Storms are always keeping me in this. Look at that, 171 kills. Sorry about that. Uh, took NyQuil, I don't know if you guys can tell. Well, as soon as it kicks in, you'll probably know because I'll be delirious. They are actually moving in on us. No. I put the hit bars on for this because you you really need them. An Ultralisk is out. See, I, I love the idea of the Colossus and the Ultralisk, and sometimes I will go for the Ultralisk, or for the for the Colossus. I never go for the Ultralisks. Uh, I go for the Colossus uh, simply because it's ranged, and um, it does a massive amount of damage. The Ultralisk, though, is melee, you know? Even though, and it's a huge target, easily warp-celled. Uh, as you saw, I, I actually warp-celled one of the siege tanks earlier. Uh, it looks like... Am I going to be able to, to get one of these Ultralisks? I love to do it. Yeah, there we go. Over both the Ultralisks, they stop doing any damage but together, and his one Ultralisk takes them both out. That's the beauty of the Warp Cell. So I don't know if you guys are actually learning how to play this game by watching me play, but I'm going to talk about it anyways. Um, special thanks go out to uh, some of my subscribers that have done 
I don't want to say more than the others, but have definitely helped me out uh, throughout uh, throughout my little Alpine experience. Um, let's see here. Um, that Fallout 3 guy, obviously. Uh, if you haven't checked out our videos together in the Fallout 3 uh, LP, go check that out now. You can pause this video, go check it out. He does an awesome job. I do okay. Um, it's a lot of fun with us both together. Uh, Red Pill Potential. Uh, he's been uh, he's been a lot of fun lately. Uh, not uh, early on, but you know he came around recently and he's been a lot of fun ever since he showed up uh the king man ultra of course um he actually made my uh youtube channel background uh check that out i love it it's awesome uh so much better than the i think it was gray or black uh background that i had uh throughout the entire thing um Wo96, he's uh, he's been around for a while. Comments a lot. Love that guy. Uh, Luke, who's 13. Once again, very cool dude. Um, love the dude. Love all my subscribers. But those ones in particular have been helping me out um, a lot uh, in my LP and experience. Uh, you have to remember when I started this, I was really just doing StarCraft 2. Um, I had plans when I started to do uh, Xenosaga, uh, I'm sorry, not Xenosaga, Xenogears, uh, I do plan on doing Xenogears and Xenosaga, um, but I was actually watching a lot of LPs, and about three or four months into watching LPs, I knew that eventually I was going to be doing that, um, I was going to be contributing to, to something that helped me out so much. Um, my original plan was to, wa to, to watch LPs of games that I had played in the past and didn't really want to play again because they were so long, even though I wanted to see the story. And, you know, it's, and LPing is a great way to, to do that, to relive old memories of, of, of video games because if, the, if you find a good LPer, he'll cut out all the boring parts and um, he'll, you'll be able to enjoy the game a lot better that way. And it looks like we're about to start doing damage to the end of the level. And is it gonna go? There it goes. I don't know what's with the camera here. Victory. But it always goes off on the side there. And yes, hacks, yeah. And it, I got more energy and so many more kills. It doesn't really show it there, but it shows it over here. How many kills did I get? 364. That crushes everybody else. I, I had no idea I was good at this game. I really didn't. Um, I didn't clear as many gems, but I do use I did get a longer chain. It's always about the chains. The chains will double your score. Uh, so you always want to go for the ones down here, the lowest ones, uh, hoping to get the chains up higher. Unit summon, of course, Hydralisk was was the highest for me. Uh, my teammate went for Zealots. Uh, our opponents went for Mutas and Roaches. And it doesn't look like... Ah, uh, no. Carbon Fiber never really never really used his energy towards, towards the spells. Um, and you saw Caligar, I don't know if you guys saw it, he said he got an achievement, that's for healing. I don't know why you would do that. That sound means that one of my videos just finished rendering. That's a lot of fun. I'll be uploading that one probably a day after this one. Uh, that one also is a lot of fun. He used the warp cell, I of course used the psionic storm. Because it's awesome, man. <laughs> and that's how I rack up the kills, really. Y you know, one psionic storm can easily take out about 15 marines, so it's always worth it. Uh, to get it more than I, I, I would say the Colossus or the Ultralisk, but that's just my opinion. But anyways, okay, back to, to my story of LPing. Uh, so yeah, when I started, um, I, I was looking for a Xenogears LP, and no offense to anybody that's done one out there, I couldn't find one that after watching the first couple videos, I kept on wanting to watch it. it either wasn't entertaining, um, the, the quality was bad, or something to that effect, you know, no offense, and I, I've looked recently and I still can't find a good one, so I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to being able to do that. Uh, that's when I first started thinking about doing Alpine, but then StarCraft II came along, I bought it, uh, thanks to my cousin, who actually has not been online since the beta, um, so I'm kind of upset that he was like, dude, it's the best game ever, and I'm like, ah, sweet, I love StarCraft One. let's get into it, so I got it, and he's like, ah, oh, not." Nah, Finally, I, I see him again, and he's like, nah, I stopped playing, man. I haven't, uh, since they released it, it's not fun anymore. The beta was where it's at. And I'm like, 
oh, fine, just be elitist like that. Um, so when the StarCraft II came out, um, I, I thought it was a perfect opportunity to get some training in, and that's basically what I tried to do was uh, try to get some training in for Let's Playing. Uh, so that's why eventually, you know, the StarCraft II will end because it, it really is going to be about the Let's Playing. That is always what I wanted to do. Uh, my idea with StarCraft II was to uh, really just show uh, the progression of multiplayer it, for me in particular because. Um, when I started, I was bad, let's face it. Um, I was probably about uh, 10 games in, including the practice rounds and the qualifiers, and that's when I decided, you know what, um, these are, I can make these entertaining, so I thought I would give it a shot. Uh, looking back, they're not as entertaining as I thought they would be. Hopefully I, I make it a little more entertaining these times. Uh, I know I've been rambling on for quite some time now. I should probably stop. You guys are probably uh, clicking away as I speak. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed however long I've been doing this. I didn't even think to look. It's probably been about four or five months now. Um, I've, I've had a lot of fun doing it. I hope you guys have a lot of fun watching me. Uh, I know I've probably upload more than most of your subscribers or your subscriptions. So, um, I, I thank you if you guys try to keep up with me. I understand if you don't. I, I know it's a lot to take in. So, I hope you guys will stick with me. Hopefully I'll get another 25. Hopefully I'll get another 25,000 subscribers. I have no idea how far this is going to go. But it's been going, actually a lot slower than I thought it would, but it's still a lot of fun. Appreciate every single one of you that I have. Even the ones of you that I'm pretty sure are just here uh, for a sub for sub. Yeah, it didn't work out too well for you, did it? So I hope you guys have, yeah, really, I really hope you have enjoyed uh, all my videos, as many as, that, uh, as you watch. If you don't, feel free to let me know, either in a comment or a private message, however you, want, however you want to communicate with me and let me know what was going on, why you didn't like it, and I'll do my best to try to fix that in the future. Hope you laughed. I do try to be funny. I suck at it most times. Even when I'm listening back, I'm like, dude, that's going to fail. That's not a funny joke. You just failed. Eh, whatever. You can't win them all. Hope you did learn. I do try to keep it a little bit educational. Not the Fallout 3 so much. That one's... I'm, I'm just trying to be funny most of the time because what am I going to teach you? This is the first time I've ever seen something in a game. I, I can't be like, oh, this is obviously something... Uh, this obviously can be killed by uh, frag, frag grenades. And I'm like, I don't know. Let's try frag grenades. Uh, oh, it worked. Sweet. <laughs> Um, and I hope to get, see you guys next time. Hope you stick with me. Tell your friends. Tell your neighbors. Bala Scoop is here to stay. Get them on the channel. Thanks for watching.